And okay. That would be like that, right? That's right. So now Jennifer, uh, Michelle has posted entry two to account receivable and to cash, and we're ready for entry three. Now, Jen, when, uh, Michelle, when you do this at home, Matt, right, Mike's technique is this. You use one page for assets. So when you're doing this at home, Michelle, you do it on three pieces of paper. One page for assets, you see that? Mm -hmm. One page for liabilities and owner's equity, and one page for revenues and expenses. Okay. okay? We'll get to put a revenue and expense there in a minute. Next entry. Received 1,400 cash for service performed in November. All right, what, what, what do you think, uh, Michelle? What accounts, so we say to ourselves, what accounts are involved? That's the first thing we try to understand the question, the statement. Uh, and she says cash and? Received what, 1,400? 1,400. Cash from what? Services performed in November. And what's that, what do you think that account is? Unearned service revenue? Uh, would it just be service nope, unearned means we take the money in advance. Oh, okay. In this case, we didn't take the money in advance, we performed the service. Guess what they call that in accounting language? Do we make a new account? Well, you're going to have to, but just tell me the account. What do you think account it is? Service revenue? That's right, service revenue. revenue. The word revenue is fine. You could put service revenue, but the word revenue is fine. Or REV is fine too, okay? Now, go make it. Now, there are, our income statement section is the third piece of paper, uh, which is represented by the third. Now, put now put revenue on the bottom. See a little line in the bottom. When we do this on paper, we one fifth. We only need like we only have one or two right revenues. That's right. So that's going to be our. We'll put our revenue down there. Generally, there's only one or two. Whereas we need more space for expenses. So that's how you do it. Okay. And uh, where's the plus on that account? On the right or the left? On the uh, right. True. Okay, good. All right, so uh, post it up. Now she's gonna post it up, that's right. She's gonna post it up to her T accounts, post up to revenue. Um, received cash. Would cash be a credit? Is cash increasing or decreasing? Received cash. Yeah, received, so it'd be increasing. So look at the T account if you're not sure, debit or credit? True. Is revenue increasing or decreasing, which I was meant, meant to ask her first, I did, but... I, decreasing, right? Nope, revenue's a verb, it's always increasing. Look at the T account, and is it, so is it a debit or a credit? Did I just you out of that? A debit again? No. See the plus on the revenue account, see the account revenue? What's the right side called? Normal balance time? True, not well for that account it is, but what's right called in general in accounting language? That's right. So it's going to be a credit to revenue. Yeah, a 1400 right? That's right. So she's going to journal and post, and then we'll ask her a special bonus question that our sponsor, maybe she'll get a, our, we don't got a Texas Instruments yet, or maybe Queso Wagon, the publisher, will give us, um, we'll do a quick quiz show. That we're going to, so, okay, post that up, and then we'll ask her a question, an accounting question, and see if she can, or her Matt, or her friend Matt. Can, uh, we'll give them both a chance right side, here. Right? Wrong side, right side, right side. Why left? Plus means increase. So Plus is the credit. So it is the credit side. The that job means right. In accounting language, credit is right. The right side. That's right. You were right. Entry three. Now you see owner's equity. I didn't tell her. I wasn't watching her. Put that down lower. You know why? Because you got to make a T account to the left of it, a contra account for drawing. Put this one down. I don't think we have drawing in this account, so I guess we could leave it there. Yeah, race that, why not? Race that, just put it down like parallel with the equipment and make an arrow, see the equipment over there? And make a, an arrow to the left of it and make a, a contra account called draw. So that, here? That's right, so for future um, usage, that's how you set them up. But put capital, you know, race capital and bring it down. Okay. So uh, as Albert used to say, it's an organizational theory, so Albert was really um, organized and a good, uh, you know, which is why the real world is, yes, yes, is theory and, no, you gotta put capital to the right, though, I'm sorry. Make it straight down, I, I, I didn't tell her exactly. 
make the capital to the right. Reason why, Matt, because the way the plus minus goes, it, the, you'll see what I'm talking about. Make the capital to the right, make the draw to the left. I didn't explain that to you the way I should have. And so I'm wasting time on the project, but that's okay. That's how we learn. And then put drawing there. You know, in a test situation, put a parallel with it. Okay, we can do it real quick in a is test. Drawing you just parallel with it. Wait, is there a drawing in the There's not, but there might. There'll be one in the future, so that's why I say just put it down there, and then I'm going to ask you the, your quiz question, okay. which is, we'll ask Matt. Matt, why do you think revenues carry a credit and expenses carry a debit? What is the rationale for that? Because for credit, you don't have to pay it right there, and it's... No, credit means right, so supplies decrease on the right side, so that's not the... That's not... That won't get you the quiz points, no. <laughs> it's a plus-minus opposite. Drawing is opposite, um, oh. Michelle. Why? Because it's a contra count. Contra is a Latin word means against. Literally means against. Spanish folks, contra, they pronounce it. And put a little arrow indicate trial parent relationship. See, see, I put an arrow from equipment to accumulate. Just make a little arrow to indicate their cousins. To these two? Yeah, put it from capital to. Um, there you go. That's just to indicate that uh, there's a relationship. All right. Okie dokie. Here now, put um, revenue under. Write the word REV underneath twelve thousand eight hundred. Well, we ask you the question. Why do you think revenues and what's the rationale for revenues and expenses carrying as they do? Why does an expense carry a debit and a revenue carry a credit? Why do you think that is? I'm really not sure. The reason is because they're both components of equity is the reason why, Matt. So you see owner's equity, when they made this system in the 1600s, they, um, just to emphasize this a little bit, Michelle, so the folks in Arizona can see this too. Um, and write expense parallel with that to the left. Over here? Yeah, to the left of it. The reason why, Matt, is because you see, when they did the system in the 1600s, they first started it, the capital was on the right side. So you see, capital means what? What's the definition of capital? It's also called equity, but that, it's that synonymous. What is, what's the definition of um, equity? What do you think, Matt? The money you start off with? No, not exactly. What do you think, um, Michelle? What's the definition of capital or equity, which is the same meaning? Which is the same, uh -huh. synonym, which are some, what's it, what does it mean? What does capital mean? It is the money you start off with in the sense that's what you invest, debit, cash, credit, owner's equity. That means investment, that journal entry, the first entry you would make for a new business. Is it the would, money you have already then? Well, it represents, well, it represents, uh, it's just a number in a T account actually. Cash is cash, you see. Cash is cash. It, it means net worth. It means net worth, okay? Assets minus liability equals net worth. For example, if you have an asset, a house worth $300,000 and you owe $200,000, you have net worth equity of $100,000, true? So it's not necessarily cash, it could be, but it means net worth, okay? All right, that's, that's so I just tell you that, um, um, Michelle, because you were saying the one answer you'd answered wrong when I first answered your questions so, which is what led us to this problem, and um, so I wanted to give you an explanation for that because that can be a confusing part, and we'll just be right back.